Good evening, this is Giuseppe Basile, I'm the analyst in chair, you can find it at the blog Fibonacci Stalking.com. I also post regularly on Twitter, using the at Fibstalker nickname. Good evening, today is uh, January, uh, it's Monday, January the 21st, uh, 2013, and uh, this is the um, Fibstalker view on currencies. This is a video I release to my newsletter subscribers every uh, weekend. I'm going to send this newsletter today on Monday. Uh, today is Martin Luther King's... Um, uh, bank holiday so uh, uh, there is no no activity on the uh, stock market and in the US and all the others ma other markets in Europe as well as uh, are um, uh, somehow um, feeling this because there is no activity or very low activity and we can see this on the euro dollar as well uh, which has been moving uh, in a range of 30 pips range uh, in this video I usually review the dollar index and I review four currency pairs, the pound versus the US dollar, the Australian dollar versus the US dollar, the US dollar versus the Canadian dollar and the US dollar versus the Japanese yen. So let's start from the uh, uh, from the dollar index, which is on the screen is the uh, continuous concept of the US uh, dollar index uh, um, uh, trade on the ICUS exchange, uh, this is the continuous contract. Uh, uh, the daily uh, chart uh, aligned with the March 2013 expiration. Um, those who follow me know that we were uh, we had identified in the past this level of um, uh, resistance here that showed up in the July, and that's traced from the highs uh, on uh, July uh, 11th to the sorry uh, 2011 to the lows of April. Sorry, July 2010 to lows of April to, um, uh, to July um, to lows of July um, 2011, and we have this 84 level here, which is offering uh, resistance, uh, and it's pushing price low. It has been pushing price lower since July. We saw on the other side, on the opposite side, we saw the euro dollar. Um, uh, moving higher uh, from the highs in July 2012 to lows in um, September we had this other level of resistance 8160 uh, and uh, price has been going uh, since then has been going down because the uh, US dollar but uh, we had these frequent retracements um, in preparation of the uh, fiscal fiscal cliff uh, affair that was not resolved at the end of the year. Now, um, clearly, uh, clearly here the, the the dollar index is hitting uh, resistance. Uh, it doesn't mean that this is going to be resistance for the uh, euro dollar, but we know that the euro dollar is the main component of the dollar index. This support for the uh, dollar index uh, comes. At um, uh, comes comes at a level that can be identified by a previous retracement and never long retracement and never uh, went to target here and that's the 79.32 as we can see traded in 2012 twice but it never never came to target up to the 85.12. But resistance uh, uh, participants at the resistance level 84 came in to the market uh, before that. But still, as we can see, this 979.30 R is acting as a support. And the last time it acted as a support, it was in uh, this December. And again, we, we are having support here. Now, um, I'm not sure if this is going to be um, this is going to be the start of a sideways move here between 81.70 and 79.40 here. We, we we just don't know that. Um, the there is a possibility for that because if we expect rules, then we see that we had this um, we had this. Um, price going above 80, uh, 60, 80, 70 and uh, this means that uh, uh, support is here confirmed. Now um, we will have confirmation I believe only if and uh, when uh, price gets above this level here because typically what happens is that this level is first uh, the, the old way, way back here is first um, violated and then it's respected so we are going to see in the coming days whether and the 8340 uh, will be respected and that that will be for me an indication that the dollar could also could uh, could um, 
could um, go even higher now we had this uh, first measure move hit the first target in 80 10 and then the second target in 80 uh, 28 80 30 here but the next um, the next uh, extension the next extension failed here so um, uh, as we can see here price went below 80 here and a uh, price could still get to this 80 35 and hitting resistance here and then continue lower this is a scenario we'll keep in mind so that's what I'm going to watch um, at the beginning of the week um, I will split this uh, this uh, video in uh, two parts the first part uh, is this one and that's dedicated to the euro dollar analysis uh, i just want to add in this video that uh, we um, we uh, actually have um, the situation in which the, the euro dollar which is the, the biggest component of the dollar index is uh, is actually still uh, going higher actually is consolidating uh, laterally but uh, it has setups for uh, going higher while uh, we have all the other pairs uh, which are um, actually in uh, a, a bearish stance meaning that the US dollar is strongest on the on the other pair so we are going to we are going to see if this is going to resolve uh, on an upside on the things that uh, would eventually bring down the euro dollar or if um, this is only uh, um, these are only spikes that are going to continue then are going to to to, to uh, are coming to an end and then and then the, the direction of the dollar uh, in the dollar weakness will uh, will continue so the currency war is 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 actually confounding the waters a little bit and uh, we need to be careful and to be um we need to be um, uh, we need to uh, be careful here because it's an important um, it's an important moment and um, uh, the um, the long term intermediate um, uh, plan that I've published on the blog I, I believe it's still valid so uh, we will need to see whether this uh, strength in the in the dollar will continue or um, it will uh, eventually uh, weakness will weakness will eventually be, um, uh, resume. So I thank you very much for this for watching this video. I'm going to uh, this is part one of the FIB Stock Review on currencies. Uh, I will uh, now record the part two in which I will take um, I will analyze the charts for uh, the British pound the uh, Australian dollar, the Canadian dollar and the Japanese yen. Thank you very much all against the US dollar. Thank you very much for your attention and uh, see you soon. Bye bye.